It's Friday morning, 0800 hours. I still haven't resurrected a solution to the mystery that lies before me. In one hour, I have my election speech. Anxious, confused, and frustrated. And most importantly, I have ended up in the red dress. How could I deliver a speech to the nation wearing a red dress? You see, someone has stolen all my clothes and I need to find my super favourite lucky outfit and fast. You need to find your favourite lucky outfit fast. She was right. I was left with no option but to contact the best detective in town. Detective, detective what? Excuse me. I'm Detective Watt. I have some questions. Hello, how may I help you? What can you tell me about Pete Douglas? Hello, how may I help you? Pete Douglas, the president. I need info and fast. Please hold. Hello, how may I help you? Pete Douglas, the president. He's lost his super favourite lucky outfit. Can you help? I don't know who you're talking about. Please hold. I had a sneaky suspicion she was lying to me. It was something in her eyes. I have a feeling she can see more than she leads on. I can't believe I left my contact lenses at home. I can't see a thing. Clue number one. The receptionist wears green eyeshadow. Welcome to Frizzo Cafe and Wine. Can I take your order? We recommend the salad. What do you call a chicken that can't stop staring at the salad? Chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> Where were you at 0700 hours this morning? Driving to work. Having to work. <laughs> I had a sneaky suspicion their sneaky lips were lying to me. These guys were clever. Genius, in fact. That light is so shiny. <whistles> Clue number two. The waitresses have purple lipstick. Would you like a coffee? We have flat white, long black, cappuccino, americano, espresso, macchiato, latte, Oh, Sandra, how can I make a speech to the nation like this? I need my super favourite lucky outfit and fast. Oh, Pete, it doesn't have to be like this. Why can't you go out and buy a new outfit? Because I looked really, really good in my super favourite lucky outfit. I don't care what they say. Clothes don't make the man. You are a kind, caring, great father, great husband, and most importantly, you're an amazing president. Oh, Sandra, you're right. I almost lost my head. How can I ever repay you? By always standing by my side. But don't forget, Pete, your super lucky outfit is in the capable hands of Detective Watt. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Wait, she looks suspicious. Keep the change. Howdy, mate. I'm looking for a... A nasty woman in a beige coat? Yes. Who looks really suspicious? Yes. About this tour? Yes. Carrying a black cape? Yes. Nah, haven't seen her. But can I borrow a hundred bucks, please? I need to get on a plane back to Australia, mate. Clue number three. The weird bogan girl has really, really stupid earrings. But what do these clues mean? The green eyeshadow, 
purple lipstick and stupid earrings. Wait, I've seen this combination somewhere before. Politician Smith. And I know where she lives. What's in the bag, Smith? Wouldn't happen to be the president's favourite outfit, would it? Wellity, wellity, wellity. If it's not Detective what? What? Well, that's your name, isn't it? Detective what? Don't play games with me. Anyway, I saw you coming a mile away. Very, very clever. But I bet you didn't see this coming. What's that supposed to do, you idiot? I thought it might make you blush. <laughs> Too late for that, Smith. I have foiled your plan. You're coming with me. So once again, Detective Watt had saved the day by returning the President's super favourite lucky outfit. See, I told you not to worry. You're right, Sandra. I just have enough time to get changed into my super favourite lucky outfit before I give my speech. <laughs>